So I would just share pictures of nature that I would take. And, um, and then I would share like little essays underneath in the caption. And in that time, like, you know, my, uh, the audience grew to maybe like around 30,000 people and it was very, very slow growth. But then when I started taking the main ideas of my essays and I started sharing poetry and putting it in white images, you know, black and white images, that's when everything started taking mm, off. I see. I kind of love that you started with the beginning of Instagram. Like in that era, no one really knew how to use it. Like anything goes. It was, it's mm-hmm. nice to hear that story because I, I, I'm in the same generation where like we started using social media at the very beginning. Okay. Yeah. But in terms of your writing, you said they were essays. So you're, so they were longer. And then were they always about like healing and your personal life? Yeah, I actually, I didn't really share about my personal life. I more so shared about what I was reflecting on. So, you know, there were time periods when I was reflecting a lot about letting go. I was reflecting a lot on self-love. I was reflecting on, you know, our experience of like, you know, how you go from being one version of yourself into a better version of yourself. So all these parts that were really just, you know, mirrors of what I was going through and what I was understanding but I didn't really include my personal story until my third book, Lighter. So it took a while for me to just like start opening up and start telling people about like, you know, sort of the more memoir aspect of writing. But in the beginning, it was always either poetry or essays, poetry or yeah. essays. And then how did your life and how did you change once you started writing? Because I'm sure as you're writing, you're healing at the same time, right? You're, you're learning at the same time. It, it was interesting because like when I started writing, I never, um, like I kept going back to meditation retreats. So like, I think probably during, probably in 2014, 2015, like each one of those years I would do like at least three or four 10 day courses. So I, I would, I would kept going back cause I was getting so much. And to me, the, the deep healing was happening in these courses. And eventually I started, um, meditating twice a day, every day. And I started that back in 2015. So like those were my moments where it was like, you know, I'm not on the phone, I'm not on the computer, I'm just sitting down, observing the truth within the framework of the body and trying to, you know, build what was really missing from my life, which was equanimity. And equanimity is like the balance of the mind. 